This is Ebbervale Steelworks, the thriving industrial heart of the valley. More than 10,000 men worked here at the outbreak of World War II, but the conflict was to decimate the workforce at the same time as the demand for steel soared. So, for the first time, the steelworks owners turned to the valley's women folk. In 1939, the year the war broke out, Josephine Williams became one of the first women to start work at the steelworks. 72 years have now passed and Josephine is 90 years old. She'd been taught to drive by her father when she was just 17, so she was put to work as a catering courier. Josephine and her fellow worker Linda would drive along the three mile stretch of the site, providing refreshments for the workers in the hot mill, the coal mill, the five stand, the pickler, and the south gate. With the war hanging over the workers' heads, air raids became commonplace. I remember the first time we had an air raid. It was rather scary and everybody was dashing about and then the men came to take us to a place of safety underground, which was very good for us because we felt safe then. Because um, it can be uh, very upsetting and especially as we were only two young girls. Most people were working short shifts to ensure the around-the-clock maintenance of the steelworks but during the war the workers had to work longer hours to supply the demand and with an average pay of only two pounds and five shillings a week life was tough. No archive material exists of Josephine's faithful old van or Josephine's fellow workers but the memories still remain. I remember when we parked the van up and the men would come to have their sandwiches, cakes, crisps, etc. Both Linda and I were quite happy with the men because they were very kind to us and very nice. They were very polite. There was no bad language and they weren't rude in any way. Oh, it would be very nice and interesting to go back and see the development at the uh, works now, which of course will make great difference to the area. It's 60 years since Josephine parked up her van for the last time, and the steelworks site has become a very different place, transformed into a state-of-the-art multi-million pound regeneration project, with the general offices becoming a new interactive visitor centre, it couldn't be further from the world Josephine first worked in. It was lovely to go back to the general offices and wander around and imagine the old place as it was because it was such a lovely building and we always enjoyed going in there to collect our wages and uh, have a look around and see all the lovely windows that are still there and the entrance is lovely. I'm glad that they are keeping it as it was because it was a centre place for Ebervale. I really enjoyed going back there to see it all. Although the old steelworks now live only in Josephine's memory, they are not forgotten. I'm a very lucky person to live to the age I am. I enjoyed working in the workers and I enjoyed my life entirely. <laughs>